the interweb. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Lynn. Plah, 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 plah. Lynn, you're going to be my camera woman for the day, all right? Okay. Just gonna move this to the side. That way, I can actually see how well I'm doing as part. Cause eh. I noticed a few bugs in OBS while I was testing it out earlier, and for some reason, it sometimes doesn't want to cooperate. So I'm just making sure I can see how well it's going. Going to be my camera one for the day, all right? Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Question mark? I've been practicing a dance lately. It's pretty popular. Okay, whatever you say. I should be able to rack up a decent amount of views on Nico Nico if I record it, and I want to do it outside too. Okay. Uh, outside? Yes, outside. Yeah, that's a uh, yep. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, apparently? Question mark? Not really, but... I've been Susie's camera woman for the last few months, ever since she started to gain some serious traction online. It's a very lucrative business. Not! Susie learns the dances, puts on a cute outfit, and then we go out into her back garden. So, um, what do you do then? You just watch her, like, do the jig or something? Just... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sure she knocks her mouse around. Oh, crud. That's not what I wanted. So I'm actually doing the file that's highlighted right now. This is my second attempt at recording because the last time I did record, it was very buggy. I don't know why. Anyway... <laughs> Susie performs while I film her, trying to stop my hands shaking with an old Canon camera that used to belong to her dad, and film her. Okay? Susie's dad goes bird watching sometimes. There is an abundance of old, unused cameras lying around Susie's house. She makes good use of them. Good! But I've never filmed Susie beyond the boundaries of her back garden. Okay. Are you sure this is fine? Yeah, it's fine. I have no problems with it. Videos are more popular if they're done in public. This is actually true. Like at a park. The scenery's nice. These kinds of videos usually get more views. You can pull... You can pull people in on the shock factor, too. Like I did this cute anime dance in public. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I guess Susie has done her research. Well, that's good. At least she's not lazy. Beyond her little sister Susan Suzume persona, Susie's pretty calculating. She'll do almost anything to boost her views and increase her fan base. I'm impressed, but if you dance outside, people will stare at you. Okay. So what? A few stares won't kill me. Yeah, but an elevator might. <laughs> no? Nothing? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> they might insult you. You should probably look at YouTube and see how many channels I've been insulted. Then you might go, oh, okay, this is normal. I can deal with it. Or is she using Steam? Or, yeah, I'm sure she's streaming on Steam. Uh, there are so many streaming sites. Um, la, 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 Twitch. I really should know this since I have a Twitch, but... Eh. What if they throw things? And again, I don't use it very often, so... Eh. People don't throw things in Hyde Park. It wouldn't be respectable. Okay. I feel like pointing out the most young girls don't dance to cute Japanese songs in Hyde Park either. But I don't. Instead, I say my voice unpleasantly whiny even to my own ears. Wow. Hold on. <clears throat> Susie! <laughs> How was that? <laughs> hey, 
Don't you Susie me. You're not the one who has to dance. I am. They won't say anything mean to you. But you don't have to. I do. It'll be good for my career. I'm trying to make money out of this. It's not all fun and games, Lin. I can deal with it. After talking to Aki yesterday, I've had it up to here. I think it's here that she was pointing to. Susie gestures to her neck. Oh, oh. Oops. <laughs> with gross guys. If anybody's rude to me, I'll make them regret it. Oh, gosh. Don't let me near you. I'm not sure how Susie will make them regret it exactly. She's taller than me, but she's not that tall. And she's so skinny, too. I know of pretty petite... I have a friend who's very petite and very... Well, compared to... Compared to some others, she's... Okay, she's petite. And... She, 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 she's a... Uh, okay, she's not that short, but... I mean... If you compare it to the rest of the world, then I guess, yeah, but she's freaking tough. Don't mess with the little girls, guys. Don't mess with the little girls. <laughs> but Susie's quite fierce. For a few moments, she has me convinced. Ah! There. <laughs> she's dating a guy who's in his 30s. She must know won't what she... She must know what she's doing. Right? Right? No. I'm lying on my bed, not doing anything in particular, just staring at the ceiling. Okay. Should probably be studying, but I can't even bring myself to look at my textbooks. The mere thought of cracking them open makes me feel ill. So I don't look at them. Ah, they're ugly! Ah. Oh, by the way, what I'm looking at, I've actually got a bunch of books over here, just like a pile of... This. So, they're actually the Mortal Instruments series books, just kind of piled up. But, yeah. I'm just like, ugh, they're hideous! No, oh, don't look at them! Just faking like they're textbooks. Which, I mean, I have a couple. I don't mind textbooks. They're To me, I, I find some of them intriguing, depending on which book. But, eh. I keep staring at the ceiling. Ah, I don't look at it! It's frightening! <laughs> I think about Susie. Ah, no! My brain! <laughs> think about Aki. <laughs> I think about Jazz. <laughs> I, I even think about Jazz's unborn baby. Okay, I'm not doing that to that. Nope, you're not making me. <laughs> I wonder what she's going to call him. Jazz had a scan a while back. The doctor said her baby was going to be a boy. I asked Jazz if she was going to name her baby after Dad, and Jazz let out this colossal snort and rolled her eyes so far back into her skull I thought they'd fall out. You obviously don't know how eyes are built into the body. I didn't press the issue, but I decided to take that as a no. Our house is cramped enough as it is. There are only two bedrooms, Mom and Dad in one, Jazz and I in the other. I've never had a room of my own. I envy Susie, who has such a nice big bedroom filled with things. Just things. For, forget the specific details, it's just filled with things. <laughs> She's an only child, and she doesn't have a brother. Any, She doesn't have any brothers or sisters. Just a brothers or sisters to worry about. I'm sure Susie's parents have more than enough room in their house to slot in a newborn baby, but I can't ask them to take in Jazz's kid. Not your decision anyway. Whoa, hey now. You're a star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Okay. <laughs> Get your show on. Get paid. I don't think... So. Oh, I can only imagine what that... That song would be so bad if it was Screamo, I swear. I don't think Susie's parents like me very much, let alone my bastard baby brother. Wow. Wow. That's wonderful. Good, good job in calling your baby brother a bastard. That still leaves one question. 
Where will the baby go? Where will he fit? And? What will Dad say when the baby's been born? Um, I can think of a few things. None of them are very good, maybe except for like one, but still. He won't be able to pretend Jazz isn't pregnant then. Not when the evidence is staring him right in the face. Yeah. Will he lose his temper? What if he makes a, a skein? What if he makes a skein? It's a, it's a mix of a scone and a scene. It's a scone scene! <laughs> what if he makes a scene at the hospital? What if he starts shouting at Jazz? He's gonna be booted out, bruh. Can't do that at a hospital. I can hardly bear to think about it. Maybe I shouldn't think about it. Yeah, I don't want to, but... Lynn, are you busy? Oh, God. Dad, go away! <laughs> There's a dull knock against my bedroom door. It's Dad. Uh-huh. Lynn. Hey, Lynn. He knocks again. He isn't knocking very loudly, but I know Dad well enough to know this could become violent at any given time. Second. Whatever. I sit up, brushing my fingers through my hair, He and hasten to answer him. I'm free. You can come in. The door handle turns. The lock clicks. I swallow. Dad stands in the doorway in all his glory. <laughs> He's a huge hulking figure, over six feet tall with broad shoulders and hands large enough to crush whole walnuts. When I was a little girl, I couldn't imagine there existed anybody bigger than him. I was wrong. Dad isn't even that tall, not compared to other people. Yeah, I doubt he's as tall as some basketball players. <laughs> he's a little above average. So about six feet? Ish? I guess. And the muscles he's developed through years of manual labor add to his intimidating physique. But there are bigger men. Oh, I bet. But I don't live with any men like that. And even if I did, I haven't learned to be scared of them. Not in the same way I've learned to be scared of Dad. Well, that's more of a mental thing than a physical thing. Hey, Lid. Hi. But Dad doesn't look very intimidating right now. He lingers in the doorway, his face strangely guilty, like he expects to get scolded. Where am I right now? Okay, I'm a little bit off camera, but not by much. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Well, holy balls, what are we doing here? Okay, bye scenery. Um, nice knowing you. That did not do thing. Okay, I've got glitch. I have got glitch. Oh, God. Okay. How do I fix this? How in the name of freaking Mike am I supposed to fix? Okay. Hold on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, just so I can fix this. I'm going to save onto file six because that's yes i want to overwrite that it should be able to fix it once i re-enter it that would explain the blackness though so it'll be dark in three two one maybe yes i want to close lynn but we're gonna keep recording i'll probably use the video editor that i have to cut out the piece we'll see um if not then i guess stuff come on Quit the game. It's frozen. Okay. Blarg. And obviously you guys can't see me saving or anything just because the... The... The thingy that... Okay, yeah, lin.exe has stopped working. I know. Uh, but the thing just kind of froze after Lynn just stopped. Like, it, it glitched. Whenever it glitches, it tends to freeze. This is actually what happened last time. It, it kind of glitched and froze, so... It caused OBS to kind of stop reading it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I just saved on it and then I'm going to re-enter it. Hopefully it reads it properly this time. All right, reopen Lin. And Or this might take a while, okay. Lynn, I know you don't like me, but really, do you gotta do this? Do you really have to? Alright, I've just gotta leave the box alone. Okay, load game. This one. There we go! Okay. There we go. There we go, we're back in action. Hey! Like he's expected to get scolded. I am not going to check the thing again, because now I know why I did a thing. Can I come in? Um, sure. I scoot to one side of my bed, opening up a space for Dad to take a seat. He does so, but not before closing the door behind him. My fingers curl into fists against my better judgment. I wonder why. Self-defense? You're not cross with me, are you? I'm not cross. Why? You've been a bit quiet lately, and you hardly said anything at dinner. You hardly ate anything either. Oh. I didn't think he'd noticed. I thought he was too busy listening, or listening, listing all of Jazz's faults and flaws. Rude, ungrateful, careless, irresponsible, inconsiderate, prideful. Wow. The list goes on and on. I wasn't hungry. Are you sure? I think you've lost a bit of weight lately. Really? Now, depending on how much she weighed prior to this could be a bad thing or a good thing. With women, though? I mean, I don't know. For some reason, I like petite women. I like petite women a lot. I'm not particularly picky. Like, honestly, appearance-wise, petite looks more attractive to me. But when it comes to just, like, women in general, I prefer the personality over the appearance. If, like, I, I don't know. But that's just me. Hmm. Your cheeks are hollowing out. You look like a little skeleton. Maybe it's true. I've suffered from nightmares for... A, or, no, that's me. Maybe it's true. I've suffered from nightmares for as long as I can remember. They've been growing more and more pronounced lately. Yeah? The nightmare last night about the stage show and the in insects was rather tame in comparison. How can I be expected to eat after such awful dreams? That's fair. I mean, especially the bug one. That would make me throw up. I'm fine. Really. I'm not hungry, that's all. You're not on some kind of diet, are you? I shake my head. Good. I'm not a girl, but I know you're all into silly stuff like that. Jazz was the same at your age, but now... Oh boy. Stress meter has grown. Dad grits his teeth together for a few moments. I worry he's going to explode. But then he exhales heavily and his posture relaxes. That's not important. We're not talking about jazz. Let's talk about you. Okay. I'm so pretty, aren't I, Daddy? <laughs> there isn't much to talk about, really. Nonsense! You're my little girl. Oh, now you're calling me your little girl? What about the other night when you called jazz and said she was your only girl? What the hell? Am I or am I not? I really am little compared to Dad. Wow. Oh, whoops. Forgot this. Ah, brightness! <laughs> I don't see how my littleness makes me any more interesting. But I keep quiet. It's best to keep quiet around Dad. Your exams are coming up. Nervous? A bit. Well, it's normal to be nervous. I was nervous when I had my exams, too. It's part of being a kid. He ruffles the top of my head with a big, closed hand. It feels like I'm being mauled by a crab. You'll be fine, though, Lynn. You've been studying, haven't you? Ugh. Yes? Maybe? 
<laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I glance at my bedside table stacked high with Jazz's old textbooks that I haven't bothered to open. I swallow. Okay. I don't know what hurts more. Dad's large hand on top of my head or the weight of his expectations. Yeah, um, I... I've been studying. Good girl. So long as you try your best, that's all I can ask for. How is he stressful to us again? I, I, I'm confused. I mean, I get that he argues, but don't... I'm pretty sure every family argues at some point. I, I'll try. Well, but I know I don't mean it. Is that what you were doing with Susie today, love? Is that what you were doing with Susie today, love? Studying? There. That fixed the fi fi <laughs> I'm spitting all over my mic. Oh, man. Yeah. Bullshit. That's nice. I knew she was a good influence. I'm glad you're, han you're hanging out with the right sort of kids, Lynn. Not like Jazz. She was always going off with that awful Vaughn girl. Though she's n so much older than, ja than our Jazz. I should have been stricter. I told her off enough times, but... Strict wouldn't have done it. More loving probably would have. Jazz doesn't listen. She doesn't, does she? Never has done. Never will. Even when I shout at her... It makes me wonder what the point of it all is. He sighs. What kind of father am I? If I can't even discipline my own children. I don't think anybody could discipline Jazz. She's a law unto herself. <laughs> hey Jazz, you hear that? Your sister's burning on you. <laughs> my wry comment being brings a smile to Dad's lips. It's rare that I see Dad smile. But when he does, it's usually around me. That's good. I'm not trying to boast. That's just how things are. Jazz never makes Dad smile. She makes him shout and spit and rage. <laughs> You're right. Totally right. You're often right, Lynn. I don't know. I do. Don't sell yourself short. He's very nice to me. Why do I stress out when she... When, why do I stress out when I'm around him if he's always nice to me like this? I don't get it. Come on, Lynn. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I, I was like Jazz when I was her age. I thought I knew best. I never listened to anybody. Least of all my parents. I was a shithead. Okay. Alright. I made a lot of mistakes when I was raising Jazz. So did Mary. I don't want to make the same mistake with you. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's not based off the parenting itself always. It's more based off the life decisions that the person makes in the long haul. So, her decisions is not precisely your fault. Crap. Well, I'm actually going to end the episode here anyway. Um, I'll start up next episode right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you'd really like to, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I really need to pay attention to time more often. <laughs>